Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So you'll be able to see there that the US 30 has uh, hovered just below potential resistance at 18,112, which also coincides with that 21 period SMA. Um, retail sales came out uh, quite good in the US, so we're getting some decent data. That's getting a little bit of support for the US dollar. And we're still waiting to see what's happening with Greece with the IMF um, leaving in negotiations yesterday unexpectedly, and that having a bit of a knock on effect against the, uh, against the Euro uh, with Germany giving uh, basically Germany and the IMF basically saying that uh, Greece needs to get real about the negotiations and uh, apparently drawing up plans for uh, bankruptcy of the country so things are getting a little bit more serious in that aspect but it's not holding back many of the European borrowers this morning that are still moving uh, that little bit higher and the Germany 30 had a decent recovery yesterday as well. So that's where we currently sit with the with the US 30, just below potential resistance. Uh, could If we manage to get a little bit of extra oomph later on today with uh, PPI um, and the Consumer Sentiment Michigan survey in the US, that could be the catalyst that we need. But we also have the Eurozone um, industrial output as well. So if you're trading Euro dollar, Germany 30, that type of stuff, that will be impacted by those macro data events. So looking at the UK 100, um, bear in mind that some of the commodity markets have come off a little bit. Very volatile session yesterday. We were down as low as uh, about 6,800. We were as high as 6, 8, almost 6, 8, 70. And uh, we can reverse course ever so slightly this morning. Off the session lows, but certainly not as strong as you would have liked. Um, US 30 may be looking a little bit better, but so close to potential resistance. So Japan 225 uh, had a good day yesterday, trading above that 21 period SMA. Uh, dollar yen creeping up again to 123.60 on um, the retail sales yesterday, and that's giving a little bit of extra um, for the Japan 225 as well. Moving on to um, dollar, yen, uh, dollar yen, you'll be able to see the well, it was actually much higher at one point yesterday, stopping just shy of potential resistance 124.42 before getting squeezed back down again. But it's slowly pe creeping higher, and it looks to be the 21 period SMA is adding short term potential support as well. So, moving on to crude, more news from Saudi Arabia increasing output potentially. That added a little bit of uh, pressure on prices. You're still probably looking at 59.50 as a potential support level now, and it's just creeping down a little bit lower to that. The other technical indicators are kind of flattening out, to be honest. So that's where we currently sit with that. Then moving on to gold. Gold uh, is approaching potential resistance at 11.86. Volatile session again yesterday. Off the session lows still. Um, just that this level looks to be strategically important as people begin to build up their positions either for the next move down to 1137 or for a break above 1186 to challenge 1218 and certainly any positive US data you would have thought would have had more of a negative impact on gold so it's very interesting to see that it's weathering the storm a little bit better than what I had them so your dollar Creeping lower, not able to break the pattern of lower highs here. One spot 11 is the next potential support, which also would be the 21 period SMA. Other technicals are neutral, the MACD histogram slowly moving down, indicating a change in momentum, which isn't that surprising because it does seem to be falling over there slightly. Moving on and finishing with GBP USD. Um, we actually have an uh, interesting candle formation here as in it sold off quite aggressively earlier on in the session yesterday only to finish up pretty much where it closed so if this was at the bottom of the downtrend that would be a hammer formation uh, very interesting I think a harami they call that um, very interesting to have that at the top end of an uptrend because there's obviously been a bit of a sell off uh, due to the fundamentals only for sterling to recover a lot of lost ground by the end of the session now it's not doing a huge amount first thing this morning but one spot 56 is the next potential resistance we're not that far away from there trading above 21 period sma we've got a bullish cross on the mac d uh, and not a, not a huge amounts elsewhere so as i mentioned um, already we do of course have a number of economic uh, announcements due today uh, the industrial production is at 10 a.m uk time um, PPI at 130 UK time and the University of Michigan sentiment survey data due at 3.30. And then if we fast forward on to the Monday there, uh, not a huge amount. And then Tuesday, we do have uh, CPI in Germany, CPI in the UK, PPI in the UK, 
and uh, retail sales, uh, retail price index, sorry, in the uh, in the UK. Uh, ZDW Business Report, huge amount of stuff on there anyway, so that will give you a bit of an idea of what to expect. So Tuesday's going to be a big day as well. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.